Hello and welcome to this video. In this video I test out your app. So this is the second video in the series and the first video I made last Friday. And the reason I'm making a new one is because I got a lot of positive feedback on that video. So that's why I'm choosing to make one more. And uh, now I've tried to put all of your app recommendations or the apps that you have made in an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going through one after one. Uh, if you just want to make sure that you're also getting featured in the video, just keep posting and then I will make sure to add you to that spreadsheet if I overlooked you or anything like that. But in this video, we are going to test out these six apps right here. Now, one thing that I want to state before playing any of these games is that I've never opened any of them. Uh, I just downloaded them and the only thing I know about these apps are the icon and the title of the app. So let's launch the apps and the first one is Line Driver. So here we have Line Driver. Uh, I'm just going to, looks like you can upgrade your car. So that's awesome. We have a leaderboard where I can view, okay, the leaders of my friends. Uh, and then we got achievements. That's probably something I can unlock. If I come a certain distance, five kilo, 500 meters, 500 meters, okay, 0.5 kilometer is not easy. I'm just looking at this one. Uh, and then we got more. You can buy some coins by watching some videos. Um, touch, awesome that we have included the instructions right down here. So swipe up to turn. So I'm going to turn these around. Oh, this is actually a lot of fun. Okay, let's try one more time. Now I think I know a bit more about what this is about. No, got hit by a wall. Let's try one more time. Let's see, oops, yeah, one more time, let's see. Just really concentrate now, cannot talk. I'm going to keep on going like this. I'm probably going to unlock some of these nice achievements. Whoa. This is actually a really cool and addictive game. Okay, 250. I mean, that's not too bad. Let's see if I now go over to achievement. Yeah, I unlocked the 50 meters, 100 meters. Okay, so just four more. I just needed to complete that distance four more times and then I would have gotten 1000 meters and unlocked all of the achievements. Awesome, so I can go back home and I can to watch videos in order to get some more coins and then I can upgrade my car. Nice. So that, that was a really nice game and a game that I think can be really addictive, at least when you make more achievements, like not stop by a thousand meters, but maybe 10,000 meters or something like that, you know, so that you have something to strive for. Um, and if I wanted to share this with my friends, uh, I'm not sure if you enabled a share function so that I can share my achievement or something just to help you get a bit more viral traffic. Love that you have integrated it with Game Center. Always a nice feature that people like. So awesome game, uh, maker of Line Driver. I really liked it a lot. And I think this, or I know, or also have tried this, this can actually be a pretty addictive game. So that's always a, uh, a, a, the key for getting or making a viral game. You just need to implement some share features. I would recommend and uh, you've got an awesome game here. Next app up is Luca or Lusa. Don't know how you want to pronounce that, but here we have a nice drawing. Let's see. He wants to send me notifications. Okay, I'm just going to allow that for now. So here we have game center integration and we got a shop. Kommt bald. Ah, sie sprechen Deutsch, ja. Svir hat Portburg zurück. Ja, da muss man ja Deutsch sprechen können, um diesen App hier zu benutzen. Irgend sowas. Ja, ja, ja. Uh, very nice. It's a German game. You could maybe change it to English so that you can... Okay, let's see. Then, let's see how we do this. Okay, so you have to push... Got it, got it, got it. So you have to push... Try to fire at these red things so that they don't touch you. Nice. Whoa. Okay, and it and it and it's levels, and then after each level, I'm get going back to my original size. Or how does they come in waves, and then 
when I'm done with the wave, I go back to my original size. At least that's how I see it right now. Now, one thing I would say is that I don't have the option to set this game on pause as far as I know. That would maybe be a feature to think about implementing if I start to get tired in my arms and I want to just pause it and then continue my high score after a couple of minutes. I restarted, I'm just going to high score 17, let's see. Can I now view my score? Let's see if I now click on game center. 500 points in the single game. I've got that one and I've got 17 points and the overall high score Steely is that you with 1852 points. So wow I have 17 and that guy has 18,000 and I sat here in probably three minutes. So that <laughs> Well, well done Steely. So uh, Lusa great game um, Let's take a look at snacker cat Whatever. Okay, tap to begin. I have three lives. Like it that it's a nice clean layout. You just get straight to the game. No, no, no going through endless amounts of menus. You're just in the game. So let's take a look at how. Okay, so you need to catch the food. Got it. And okay, so you need to slide it. So it's. Okay. And then I'm also interested in seeing if there are leaderboards here. And also if I will be able to share my high score with my dear friends over at Twitter or Facebook. Let's just first get this level here completed or not level, but try to get some kind of a high score. I started with zero lives because in the beginning I didn't know quite what this was what I had to do here probably have one life now can't see because of my finger and I also like the placement of the ad because it doesn't di um, interrupt from the gameplay it's it, you know it's down there where you don't touch when playing this game so awesome ad placement uh, game over score 130 high score 113 so that was what I just got restart and then we're back here. So I like the layout a lot because it's so simple, it's so easy. You open the app and you just want to play and that's what you're allowed to do here. You open it up, bam, and you can play it. So that's a huge plus. Uh, one thing, of course, I say this to every game now, so it's starting to get a bit boring, but I would still like a social share function so that I could share my high score with my friends. It's just a, a good thing to always, always keep building in because you never know when somebody's going to share the game and 10 of their friends are going to jump on and then that's going to just continue like that. So awesome game. I really like the simple design and the simple gameplay and uh, really awesome because often when you launch a, a small app like this, you just want to click on play and then start playing. That's why Flappy Bird was so awesome because you could just open it and go. And I think that that's make also the barrier to entry, barrier of entry to get into the app is very low. You don't think about, okay, so then I have to first log in, then I have to go through two menus, then I have to choose a level, then I have to play. No, it's just open the app, bam, you hear, you can start playing. Emoji Tycon. Let's see what that is. If that is even a game. Okay, so money tap, money sec zero dollars taps. Let's see, so I can just tap here then, and I guess that my my money, money increases the amount of money that I have. Okay, so let's say I have $100, what do I do then? Let's click on settings, start over, share the app. I want to do snap. Share the app, awesome. Rate the app, awesome. Awesome feature to always build and rate the app and share the app. Two standard features that you always should have. So great uh, building that in. Start over, which I don't want. I'm just going to click on mission. Are you ready? Press next below. Next. Reach two points. Reward 50% of current. Now what do I have to do? I had to reach two what? two dollars 
Okay, so it reminds me a bit of that game. I didn't. I don't know if you know it, but there was uh, you had that dollars, and you just needed to flick them up over the screen in order to get some money that way, and then you could build passive income income streams and stuff like that. It reminds me a bit of that app. If I now click on managers. Okay, so then I can invest, yeah, exactly, in passive incomes like little brother who's going to always plus one dollar per second. That costs me 10,000, so I will have to click a bit in order to get that. But uh, I already know that such a type of an app already exists. I don't know if you know that, probably you do. Uh, but uh, I, I have to say that when that app uh, was out, I was, uh, I was sitting and tapping a lot, so it, it becomes pretty... It looks like you don't have enough exactly uh, so it becomes pretty ad addictive uh, so I like the gameplay uh, I really do I just know that there's an another alternative out there that has a bit different design and all that uh, so maybe you're I don't know how you how you differentiate yourself and how you market this app uh, but if you manage to hit a different target group or, or advertise yourself in a different way in order to get different users instead of the ones that using the other app uh, which has faded a little bit by now but you're introducing a new theme emoji what, what was it called emoji tycon i like that name i like that you're you're hitting on a trend with emojis uh, and, and i also like the gameplay because it's, it becomes addicting i have 350 dollars now then i can build some passive income start making money passively i like that i like also the ad placement as with the previous app uh, I like that you can, you know, it's a bit like, um, I want to say Monopoly, like you can build, go on missions. Okay, not so much Monopoly, but you can at least invest and then by making certain investment, you can grow with your bank account. So I like that. Uh, and I also like the share feature, the rate feature. And there was one more thing which I can't remember right now. Yeah, it was, um, let's say I wanted to build Buy this I know that that would destroy a bit of the purpose of the app because I would have to, really I the purpose is that I'm going to touch so many times on the screen that I can afford this one you could also build in you know uh, in a purchases so that I can buy this for like I don't, I don't know how much you would charge ten dollars for the best one down here and uh, make a bit of money that way also but then there wouldn't be too much purpose of the game but if you make this app popular and uh, all the friends are playing it and you just want to have the most amount of dollars then someone is going to buy an in-app purchase so awesome app i like the gameplay uh just make sure that you don't uh, stand in the shadow of that popular app that once was popular that now i think has faded a bit and i can't remember the name also the next app, Python Guide. Uh, I, the name is pretty self-explanatory. I always like that. And then here you can just, I guess it's, it's just a guide where you can, you know, get your, get to know how to implement certain functions and code snippets and remove. And, and I like that because uh, Often you can't rem memorize all of the commands and you just want to quickly search it up and then you can do so here. If I now type in remove. Okay, so I would probably have the search function go uh, span across all of the menus. So instead of having to, let's see, and also a return button so that I can hide the keyboard. Because right now it, it just stays there. So I have no way of now hiding the keyboard, which I would take a look at. But so I can now, um, let's say I'm going to dictionary methods and I want clear. And instead of memorizing where that is, I just want to type clear right here and then it doesn't appear. So I would have the search function span across all the table views, uh, built-in functions, and of course the keyboard. And I like the ad placement down there, making a bit of money. Very nice. And then you can remove the ads, nice, and restore purchases, which I would probably call purchase. Else the user is a little bit, where's the second purchase? Because as far as I know, you can only remove the ads. A great and simple app that does it, that does the job. I would just think about implementing the features that I just uh, mentioned. The next one, and the last one is Korea, or how, however you pronounce that. 
uh, let's just click on begin. Um, as okay, so it's a meditation kind of app. I'm just going to click on two here. So I'm not completely sure how this would work now. Should I breathe? So right now I have no idea about how to use the functionalities of this app. Um, it almost feel like it's a bit stuck. I, I now click on two. I click on three. So if there is a function right here that I'm not uh, using or discovering, I would make it a bit more user intuitive. Uh, but if there should be a function right here that isn't working now, then I would just go ahead and fix that. I'm just going to uh, quit the app and I try to open again. I click on begin. And I have one two, three. Um, maybe the app is working as it should. I don't know uh, because I don't know yoga breathe, but it's probably because I need to breathe right now. Not sure, but I will also have a, if, if that's the case, then just illustrate to the user that the app is working in the background because right now for all that I know, it could be uh, stuck. So uh, just always, always, always display to your user that your app is working in the background or doing whatever. When you launch, when you're uh, reading some, getting data from a database, show that little uh, refresh icon, the activity indicator. Always when you do something, indicate to the user that you are doing something, else he's just going to sit there and have no clue what's happening or if the app is even working. Right, Like right now, I have no clue if this is working or not working. Uh, so I would definitely take a look at that. Always tell the user what is happening and how long uh, it takes or, or, or at least have some instructions for me who doesn't know what he's supposed to do when it says you have a breath. But probably for people who knows it, know what they have to do right now, but I don't. So uh, I would take a look at that. But that really concludes all of the apps that I wanted to show you or test out today. Now, if you enjoyed it, make sure that you click subscribe button and the like button. Also, if your app is not featured yet, I still have uh, eight apps on my phone that I'm going to test next Friday. So those will be tested, but uh, it doesn't hurt to just uh, post them one more time. And then I will make sure that I also have them in my Excel spreadsheet where I have all of the apps that I'm testing. So thank you for watching. Make sure that you click subscribe button and then I will see you back in the next video. Thank you for watching.